0% of you are subscribed. Fix that. He was 55 feet tall, that guy. These statues are huge. But with the information about the DNA... They... They, <laughs> they made these statues to scale. <laughs> Tall people aren't just tall, they're ascended god beings. I'm I'm a little bit sweaty. You kept me uh playing the waiting game while you um while you debated with some uninteresting uh, nobodies. We will talk about political ideologies from the 40s. I mean Is that interesting to people? I advocate for political ideologies from like the 1870s, so I was Ideally, it would mean that the capitalist owners of your enterprise would have their wealth <clears throat> expropriated. And then we could go down to your office or branch or whatever, and we could say, Congratulations, comrades, you've been liberated. From this point forward, you will now be selecting amongst yourselves to democratically elect your managers. None of you will own this business. All of you will own it. Company policies would be decided democratically, just like our government. How is it decided now? Uh, well, it's a dictatorship. The boss can do literally anything they want as long as it doesn't violate, like, corporate law. It's put to a vote and you decide. Hey, Vosh. Uh-huh. This sounds like capitalism with ballot boxes. Yes. Introducing democracy to capitalism is one of the most foundational steps forward to the obliteration of the class divide. Huh. Well, how about that? Um, here's but the thing. just so you know, that's a critical difference. Capitalism means private ownership uh, of the means of production. What I, well, 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 it is, because what capitalism is, is private ownership of the means of production. That's when a boss just owns the factory. And what I'm advocating for is public control of the means of production, which is socialism. All she's doing is smack talking me. She's just talking bad about me, about my character. And it's all complete bullshit. It literally had nothing. You got wrecked, I'm sorry. Yeah, I got fucking I got fucking BTFO'd in that conversation. Let's be real. Oh man. What do you want? What do I want? yeah, I remember when I went on YouTube and searched out your stream and then typed in your stream chat asking you to debate me. Um I, I remember all that. Okay, look, you already don't get it, and that's really clear. You <laughs> What if I told you there was an economic system that would allow you to live as comfortably as you do now? But I do. You wouldn't. You, well, yes. But you um, wouldn't have to work as many hours. Let me guess. It's communism. I was going to say socialism. Oh, let me guess. It's the same thing. Uh, the, the tomato. No, it's tomato. Got you again, Republican. Do you think there's any difference between socialism and communism? No. I'd love to say, oh, oh, tomato, tomato. What does tomato tomato mean to you? Are you avoiding well, answering my question? This is another slippery debate tactic. You must have got this from the from the oh, Herr God. Kaiser, the forefront listen. of all conservative thought. No, no, listen. Please. My ejaculations are fine and they're none of anyone's business here because ejaculate like like I'm saying, to see again, you're trying to get off point. Talking about cum and ejaculation and wearing women's clothing. If you got your hands around my waist, you'd find like a stacked set of cakes, you know, if Is your it hands normal were... leftist tactic to just say something gay when you're about to be backed into a corner. Wait, it's not gay. Those are wide hips. That would be straight by your logic. Just go full soy boy mode and just say, Oh, if you touch my hips, I'm not talking about touching your hips. I'm talking about the facts. Facts. Well, you oh, said hold on, your chat is now messaging me again. Mm -hmm. They're messaging me again. In case you want to say something, they keep sending me Scripture. images that I don't want to look at. Can you hear my notification sounds? Yes, I can. Oh, well, too bad. I don't give a shit. Why are you physically... Do you have a physical document in front of you? Of course I do. Wait, did you bring a binder to this debate? Did you not? You need to shut okay. your Discord the fuck up. How? Uh... There's no possible way you're receiving that many messages. Hog? Yes, I've met hogs. Oh. I mean, how many hogs have you met? I thought we were off the gay stuff. Um... Hmm. 
Yeah, I think you might actually be beyond speaking to. Um, do you have any, like, a uh, last point? Any last words? That you want to get to? Yeah, sure. I'm sorry it went badly for you. I look... Therapy session with your, your chat. Uh, they can all stop harassing me. You suggested that centrism... Is this true? Because I read this, right? Is an effective form of stopping Nazism. Nazism? Is that true? Uh, or did no, YouTube I, I, fandom get that wrong? I think I think that centrism is an ineffective way of stopping Nazism, in which he Vosh explained why he believed centrism to be an ineffective form of stopping Nazism. Yeah, okay, that dude misread my fandom page. The dude that I just talked to, he thought it said effective, not ineffective. I was confused. I was thinking, who out there would say that this video meant I believed centrism was an effective way of stopping Nazism? <laughs> Because every time I get one of these people in front of me, they pretend to argue policies for about 20 minutes, lying and backpedaling every time I expose a hypocrisy, until eventually they just start sputtering the N-word and telling me that they're going to gas the kikes and leaving the call. Every time I talk to these people. Every single time. So if I have an uncharitable opinion of their views, it is only because I have seen nothing but pathetic, uh, degenerate, abject immorality from them every time I engage. Uh, genocide ad nauseum every single time. And it is not the prerogative of wise people to argue positions when your standard for evidence is a Nazi saying, actually, no, I wouldn't do a genocide because they have been known to lie. You're acting like it makes him a horrible person. I would say reality, being a Holocaust denier. It means that he's denier. not for it. It means that he's not for it. No. When people are Holocaust deniers, it's not because they're relieved at the idea that Jews weren't experiencing the horrors of the Holocaust. Does it it's mean because, that they're for it? It's because they believe the Jews are deliberately orchestrating an international conspiracy to inflate the death toll at the Holocaust so they can use it to guilt whites into giving away their rights. You're the one twisted, man. For? For believing that we're hateful for believing that right is right and wrong is wrong. That's not what you believe. What is right exactly? Hateful for what? What policies do you want to enact? I'm not, I'm not, I don't even exactly. know what Exactly. Because, because the abstraction of your values is the only way you can keep from coming off like a no, monster. Making the world a better place yeah. is female thinking. Right. And That's a small a business is defined as, let me see. Uh, less than 500, was it? Less than 500 workers. Yeah. Okay. I don't know about you, but I think a firm with 500 workers is one in which there is a significant disparity between the number of owners and workers at that given uh, firm. Backing out already? I'm just asking you for a simple comparison. He's already being disingenuous. By asking you if you believe tax or theft, Carl. I think know exactly where this goes. Carl, already? You're not understanding what I'm saying. You are not listening and engaging with what I'm saying. Carl. It is immoral to take. Right. See you later. Yeah, that was actually really impressive. Um, I actually, there were so many stupid points that were made there, I actually had to write them down. Because after the first two, I thought like, okay, I have the answers to these, and then... you, I, I honestly can't point to a billionaire who got their money through illegitimate means. I, I don't know, I mean, like, who did Mark Zuckerberg oppress in order to become a billionaire? You know, um, the revolutions in Europe were a bloody waste of time. Uh, but part of the individualist perspective is, in fact, the whole thing is built on property rights. And if you if you take them away, if you if you ignore them, then they then you lose the structure and stability of that system. You end up becoming like the continental that you are. You think there's a game in the American American either game. Okay, so I'm going to be perfectly honest. I have no idea what you were talking about. I don't. For a second, I was worried that I had like skipped a beat. Uh, I'm going to assume that was deliberately incoherent in an attempt to sort of jump me. Um, this this is why all I can say is we'll we'll have to go on to the next topic because there's 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 no concord here. We no, I'm 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 fine with that. We can move on. I'm glad you agree that people are entitled to the fruits oh. of their labor, Carl. I he, know that, forgive me, Vosh, I know you've got another round. No, no, it's okay. Or... It's it's okay. He counter-argued but... himself. I don't need to finish. 
um, what I want is a is a national or ideally international um, uh, uh, emergence of class consciousness. The idea that workers collectively recognize that they're being fucked over by the capitalist class, and then together in unison, cap conservatives and liberals alike join arms and unite against a common enemy. And ideally, this would take the the the, the form of, of of riots and and seizures of property all across the country or world and a displacement of power from uh, uh from the capitalist um sort of institution so workers seizing their means of business seizing um the the capital uh really basically similar to what we did in the american revolution there were loyalists and um, patriots on both sides um, all over the place and what happened was when the when the patriots when the american colonists the people who wanted to form a new state when they finally decided to get up and flex when they at when atlas shrugged um they 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 tried to build class consciousness amongst their political enemies and they targeted institutional points of power from the crown so like courthouses and and like the marshal's house and like governor's places that were like appointed by the king himself they targeted those places and while there was violence and chaos it eventually led to the formation of a much better world which i'll stand behind these are huge institutional barriers that you don't give a fuck about hey howdy um not not much how are you i didn't i didn't ask how you're doing or what's up uh, but uh well, I, I'm I can sorry, ask if that helps out uh <laughs> could, could you help me could, could you help me like find a disagreement we have because i'm sure we have a lot <laughs> that kind of makes it kind of a female thing to, to cry a lot i mean you can say that it's associated with women do you think there's something wrong with men crying <laughs> no Okay. A lot of men do think there's something wrong with men crying. A lot of women, too. Men get shamed for crying sometimes. Would that not be a toxic expectation of masculinity? That you not cry? Just Out of curiosity, I really, really am curious. Why, <laughs> why is it that every time I ask about the ideology of, like, you people, you, I get, like, this vague, like, conservative, like, this, like, really, like, uh, I guess I'm right-leaning, but then, like, I ask a bit more, and you're all... Nazis uh, I, I, or... Well, uh, I, I gotta say something, since now this is getting uh, really embarrassing. I, I'm a leftist, but like, yeah, I'm, I'm just a terrible troll. I, I'm sorry for disappointing everybody. Like, don't ban me from your Discord, I watch like all of your streams. Text-to-speech donations are on. Groceries. This is a test super chat alert for eight dollars. No, it's- I didn't send that. You don't sent that. Vote. 777 Octovian Gentilian 777 I'm giving you this one 777 Tresfy Gent Also lol Dono machine is broke Brr rr 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 rr
You choose to suck their dick. He doesn't have a gun. He doesn't force you. He doesn't hit you. You get down on your own knees. You unhinge your own jaw. You do the tongue work. That's your choice. That's voluntary. When I'm talking to your people, you kind of, you describe your political positions a little bit more neutrally than they actually tend to oh, be. Oh yeah, hiding our power levels, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, okay. I never do it. Do I hide my power level ever? I'm usually pretty open with all my positions. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, okay. I don't, okay. Let, let's just get into, um, that's a different, uh, with your terminology, you got to be very careful. I don't think because... there's any terminology I've yet used that's been inaccurate. Usually when people well, talk about, about it, what about Stefan like, Molyneux, you do? And you will be impregnated by right-wing Nazis against your will, no matter what, and you will have no way of escaping this, and you will breathe the mercury. Stefan Molyneux is a Nazi. Yeah. You know there because are no you... points that you can make that will be even remotely convincing when challenged by me, right? And it's not because I'm more rhetorically yes. efficacious, though I am indeed fairly competent at debate. It's because these arguments are fucking stupid. It, it seems to me like you're only interested in putting the pieces together if it's as simple as this person's holding a gun, they pull the trigger, the bullet goes into another person, we can see the chain. But in reality, if we're talking about, like, really big, important philosophical issues, like freedom of speech, we can't just limit it to, like, that base of discourse. We have to be willing to consider the possibility that there are indirect ways that people can affect massive amounts of harm. If you own a restaurant, and there's somebody in that restaurant who comes in smeared in shit, you don't okay, think that, you should uh, be able to remove that. them? You're right. Let me, let me rephrase that. Like, only if they're disrupting other people's ability to enjoy, you know, the contents of the restaurant. Well, that's kind of an arbitrary standard, too. What if well, white people, racist white folk are in the restaurant and a black person comes in? Uh, well, that would be up to the restaurant owner. Well, so you think the it, restaurant owner should be able to kick black people out if it makes their white patrons more comfortable? You do believe that a restaurant owner should be able to kick out a person smeared in shit? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Why? Because the, the smell, to me, is a form of minor assault. So you believe that even though it's not literal physical assault, like the shit smeared person isn't tackling anyone or anything, there is a type of violence associated with them being smeared in shit. Would you agree with that? Oh uh, yeah. Okay, so you agree then that private businesses should have a right to um, not host people making less pleasant the experiences of other people? Okay, yeah. Okay, so we're in agreement then that it's perfectly okay for YouTube and other sites to have a TOS. No, just close your eyes, turn that, sh you know, turn off the screen. If you don't like the shit smelling man, you can just leave the restaurant, can't you? Uh, yeah, but it, be, it would be in the restaurant owner's interest to. And keep it would be, it would be in so YouTube's, right. and it would be in YouTube's interest to keep their patrons as well. My entire channel is based on the idea that conservative arguments are fucking terrible. It's not just that they're wrong, it's that they're fascists. They want to hurt people. Conservatism is fundamentally about destroying people, about pre preserving and promoting hierarchy. If they started just targeting people for being, what, gay? Then yeah, I would take an issue with that. What you're saying is people I disagree with. No, I disagree with lots of people on lots of things. I'm saying bigotry and harassment and incitements to violence. Is that, you're saying you know for a fact I think, what's wrong of course, with what's right I think, YouTube. Of course I think I'm right. I wouldn't advocate for a position if I thought I was wrong. Obviously I think I'm right. The Chinese government is far worse off than the American government is. I would say that China was pretty much forced to do that through the geopolitics. You can, nah, you can't do the, I could see a defense for like Cuba being authoritarian. A tiny uh, island nation poor as shit right on the coastline of America? I can hear arguments Cuba, for that. China me. is a monolithic, incredibly powerful, rapidly growing, quickly you industrializing have, superpower in a one-party system where each uh, member is hand-selected or approved by the existing party. That's not democracy. I'm not going to say that it's it's not it's like more democratic than the United States. No, it's just no, it's just not democratic. It's it's yeah. not. It's it is by definition not a democracy when only one party can run and that party picks who gets to run. By whose definition? Because then there's no choice. I can't they believe should... I hear this from leftists. Why? If you wait, wait, I'm sorry. Wait, I can't believe this. This is insane. Dissent is disincentivized in every conceivable sense. How can you call yourself a leftist? You need to understand you're not a leftist and you're not a socialist. Don't don't call me not a leftist. You oh you you aren't and you are. You are a fascist and you are not a leftist, my friend. Then you're a Why CIA imperialist. You're you're fucking you're a fucking CIA agent. Capital 
by definition, is an unequal transfer. Of no, resources. it's not. Done. That's not what capital yeah, means. Are you done? Can, okay. can I speak? I, can, I actually, no, no, I actually, you are, I think you're actually about to win this discussion because I don't think I can take you. Yeah, Capitalism existed exactly. somewhere else in the world, so we had to gulag the gays? Jesus Christ. You've been, it's, it's, wait, 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 I have, this is why you're more interesting to me than your arguments. Your arguments are insane, but you, your brain is broken in a very weird way. You are literally incapable of processing information outside of the propaganda that's been given to you. Holy shit, that dude I think is actually insane. This is every tanky I talk to, dude. Jesus Christ, that guy, fucking... Nazi apologia, fascist apologia, anti-democracy, no understanding of anything he talked about, just posturing everything he said. I, ah, fuck. I know he's young, but I was young once too. I was never that bad. That guy's not a socialist. If you see anything about yourself in that person, you are not a socialist. I'm really sorry. Oh my God, I can't. According to Vosh, we wanted to debate blacks because black people are dumb and it would be an easy win for us. You disingenuous white liberal scum. Scum! And then instead of actually like having an actual analysis by an actual educated person, taking into account a lot of variables, you're just like trying to throw like two or three stats here. Like we've got like, like monocausal things going on here. It's just like so stupid. Likewise, they're trying to use a population drop in black people in New York City from 2010 to present day, as though that explains a crime change that took place from, from the 91. 1990s. <laughs> yeah. I expect this might be a little bit, a little bit wild. Hear it. Do you want to respond this. to the study that I have never said white privilege once in this entire discussion? I want, I want Destiny to show me a study showing that white people are disproportionately powerful. Are you pivoting? No. Are He's you actually, really? Are you avoiding? A claim and he has no evidence to back it up. Answer the question. So, what question? Do you Answer want the question, to Striker. What question? Striker. Why were okay, those mock jurors biased? Why? Well. So what's your solution to that? Is Wait, that to are you so you really are women? pivoting? Why are, Why are you pivoting? Why are you pivoting? Why have a racial ideology? You don't have a canned line are for the rest of this stuff. You. So here you go. If a jury pivoting. is more you can be fired for not saying Black Lives Matter. Actually, yes, no. you can. Wait, that's, that's a political, political opinion. opinion. <laughs> Heterosexual reproduction, penis to vagina, sperm to egg production of babies but everyone I knows that they we are political enemies and i'm trying to eliminate from my uh, nation people like you yeah that's the that's the bad thing <laughs> that's yeah that's what i'm trying to prevent from loony nazis keeping their kids from understanding what gay people are like yeah that, i'm trying to prevent that yeah i think you guys are like well, a material just, harm to society i'm just trying to teach kids know. factual information men are expected to be the leaders wait 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 why all right, and no woman wants to lead a man. That's just the truth. I know it, it is. Experience. Wait, that's not the truth. I think women should be raising you up from your sadness instead of you just doing it yourself. That's what. Why are do. wait? Why are women responsible for your mental health? Because they're fellow human beings. Just wait, like wait, wait, and me. Okay, and they're human beings too. Why can't you? Why aren't you dedicating your life to amending their sadness? Because I don't want to. Uh, wh wow. Okay. Why do you think they're not helping no, you? No, no, women. No, men have to do it. Women do not. They have the choice. Like, what? there's a reason wait, why men. Men do not. not just, men do like, not have to give a shit about women's feelings. We aren't like tyrannous. Wait, how? Like, how? We, how is the socialization? You, please explain. I'm actually confused here. Should I like run down all of my fetishes and like we can argue whether or not they're biologically deterministic or whether or not I had an experience at oh, some point? Fetishes in my youth? are definitely biologically deterministic. Okay. No, they're not. Listen. Okay. Right. Listen. Can. All right. Do you want? Do you want to get back on point? Because what? What was? I I'm feel back. like there never was a jump. point. So isn't it weird that no matter how like big and burly and muscly the dude is the inside of their asshole is still super snug and soft you know what i mean like no matter what like it's like like no matter what because you you can you can look like a like a fucking uh, shit brick house you can be muscles of steel but no matter what like the asshole is always like snuggly you know
Can we get a multivariate regressive anal cis on the butthole subject? I'll consider it, comrade. If if a man's doing anal sex, he's deriving pleasure from, I guess, like, you know, similar to what you get from a vagina, but also the fact that he's causing pain, and the woman is deriving Your pleasure. I love you, man, but your views on sex are so fucked. I don't know where you've been getting this info from, and I am sincerely, no ad homerino, Beginning to doubt that you've had much experience with this yourself, I promise you, men and men, women and women, men and women, whatever, there are a wide variety of reasons why people do the things they do. It's not all about like trying to hurt one another. Coming into uh, Western countries. What is a Western country? So you're going to define Western I can country, you know, I America, can, from Europe. everything you say, I can hear every YouTube video you've watched. Everything that you say, all the language you use, I know the videos that you've watched. It would take so long to peel apart all of the preconceptions that you have when it comes to everything that we're talking about. And uh, well, I think the two of us are on the same page about, about the anti doomer edgy contrarianism because it's it's so like it's so useless. I don't want to be the smuggest guy yeah. in the mass no. grave. I don't care. That's not fun yeah. to me. That's not socialism to me. Your question well, was. I had a family, I had a family member. Be, I had a family member be the victim of. The Three on one, and then I, they, they, they got a slap on the wrist. The, the judge is like, they don't want to ruin their I lives. Can't. They don't want to ruin their lives. They are my family member. What I do you can't. mean you don't want to ruin their lives? So wait, wait, hold on. But Just... you don't have a fucking right to disproportionately commit crime against okay. us for so 50, 60 need, years in a row. You need to calm and down. Act like we're the, and, and act like we are the problem. You need to no, calm you down. You don't have a right you to need do to that. calm down, sir. You need Tell to calm the down. Truth. You are acting hysterical right now. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm just saying that I'm, I, I'm I can not see a why you've been censored cook. by social media if this is the I'm attitude not a you took. Cook. Okay. I'm not a no, cook. I'm not going to take it. You well, you are going to take it because people like me. People like me are the turn to my, wait, 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 wait. Turn to my turn to my house and try to fucking make me take it. You'll you'll find out. Are you asking me to come and fuck you? No, I'm no, I'm saying you said I'm gonna take I guess you're no, not you're a cuck if I'm, I'm fucking you, it. right? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you can come see me and you can try to make me. Listen, you said Wait, I'm turning it off now. You'll try to get me into anime, so I'm gonna try to get you into fucking music, like actual music. Like actual so. music, okay. Like, are you... <laughs> uh... Vosh, do you not listen to music? No, I listen to- gonna... Look, it's, it's a whole- We're gonna bully him. Okay, for... okay, listen. First of all, the video game industry is now larger right. than the movie <laughs> industry. So, if I listen okay. predominantly Irrelevant. To, to video game OSTs, then that means I am I am basking cope, chat. in an entire genre. Which video game OSTs? <laughs> Fuck it. It's Bosch. Within the limits prescribed by an established legal framework, you idiots! Constitutional monarchy literally just means that there are rules on them. I was right, you idiots. It doesn't mean a fucking parliament that you will elect. Imagine you and I are on a date. Are you into Are you into gay shit? What? With men. Is it okay if we date? Yeah. If, if you're, if you're um, the director of- You have no idea what the fuck you're I talking mean, about. Oliver, what are your thoughts on Al <laughs> Alden's number? Okay, it's go off. Is, uh, it says <laughs> Listen, it's my paper. I haven't published it yet, okay? It's in the works. So many Alden's numbers. Uh, it says, Gual says, does Oliver agree with Alden's theory of thermodynamics? And in all seriousness, though, I know I'm sure there are some people watching who are mad or whatever. The thing you have to understand is that there are some people who just don't deserve good debates. I'll get, I, I'll get it. Don't worry. I'm totally fine. I'm honestly, I'm very sober. Okay. It's totally fine. Does anyone, wait, does anyone have a non-Facebook embed of that Donald Trump Jr. clip? Does anyone, please, God, I want to see it. Do I actually sound this drunk? What the fuck is this? Is this witchcraft? Pray the voting day away. Very good, very normal country. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna call out the corruption. They're going to find all the fake Biden ballots written on Chinese paper. And other people, you're suppressing them. You know, I could debate anyone, and I'd win too. I'd win too. Easily, effortlessly. Is Vosh already drunk? I am as sober as I ever have been.